Yay! Hi. Hi guys. Hello, I'm Stacy. Uh, I just want to thank you, first of all, for your service and everything that you've done for this country. It matters, and um, I'm happy to help you any way that I can in transitioning um, to to the civilian workforce. But I'm looking at you now; y'all look pretty good. Except I, I'm Margaret Ann. You know, camo is camo. Like we're we're gonna have to work on that a little. <laughs> My name is Beth Guida. I am a OBGYN physician. Um, I actually mm -hmm. just transitioned out of the Air Force. I was active duty for about 13 years. So I'm just trying to figure out how to dress, you know, in usually pants. I'm a gynecologist. Skirts don't really work. Um, but in pants that can work with um, old lady comfortable shoes. <laughs> All sorts of pants are, are, are in style. It's not really a question of whether or not you're doing a skinny pant or a long pant or a wide pant, it's much okay. more what is better for your body type. Um, okay. And cropped wide pants usually actually wind up being a little bit more flattering than super flowy pants, as well as not getting in your way quite as much. Okay. I would recommend um, uh, like a higher waisted cropped pant uh, that's not too cropped. I mean, something that's definitely, you know, uh, sort of lower calf. The, okay. the other recommendation that I have about shoes is, um, the reason I ask about sneakers is because I don't know where you reside currently, but there's um, a running store in, in New York called Jackrabbit. And I'm sure that there are similar stores all over the country. But what they do is they ask you to walk or to run on a treadmill and oh, they sure. see whether you pronate or whatever. And then um, there are two great things that I've seen them do. They cut insoles to the sneaker of your choice to give you the kind of arch support that you might need. But they also make, and, and I'm sure you could find this online, I'm sure Amazon sells them, recovery sandals. Um, and I don't know whether you own those already, oh. but they're, you're, you're, those are for wearing at home to help strengthen your arch and actually strengthen your ankles so that if you are wearing shoes for long work shifts, you come home and that should help actually kind of rehab them quite quickly and maybe make another shoe a little, a little bit more comfortable. My name's Scott Williams. Uh, I actually just transitioned out of the army. The first lieutenant uh, from Fort Stewart, Georgia, where I spent four and a half years as an armor officer, um, holding various roles as a platoon leader. Um, so in charge of like four tanks, 16 soldiers, uh, to be an executive wow. officer in charge of logistics, maintenance for a whole fleet of tanks um, and 80 soldiers. Uh, since exiting, I actually just started a job um, last month with Wayfair as an operations manager at their facility here in Dallas, Texas. Uh, uh -huh. so the operations of an entire shift uh, where I'm bouncing back and forth between a warehouse environment and a, uh, an office setting, uh, managing a bunch of different departments to keep things running smoothly uh, and ensuring that customers get their orders fulfilled on time. Um, so it, I'm a customer, by the way. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm, I'm in this environment where I still want to dress somewhat professionally, um, but in an unair un conditioned warehouse, there's obviously some limitations to, to that. Uh, so I'm trying to strike a balance. Uh, currently, I just kind of wear a polo and jeans um, uh -huh. but I just wasn't sure if there's another way to kind of change it up, um, add some kind of flair or variety. Uh, so it's not just the, the same thing day in, day out, like the army was. Sure. Well, there's a couple of things that I would say to you. Uh, obviously it sounds like you, there are two different parts to your job, like being in the warehouse and then being in the office. Um, and that can be hard to straddle. And also men, you know, we don't, you don't have as many choices as women do. You just don't. So. First off, polo shirts are your best friend. I will definitely say, I think that that, that is a wise choice on your part. Um, the one other thing that I would recommend is a flat front khaki pant. I know it sounds maybe like a little bit kind of preppy and, and um, but if you get the more modern kinds, like uh, companies like Rag and Bone uh, make slimmer fit khakis for for men that I think can can really do double duty between being in a, a work environment and also you know if you have to be out in the warehouse and the other thing is that if you leave a sport jacket maybe in your office you can wear those with a polo shirt or you can wear them with like a light cut button down um, you don't need a tie but if you you know have to run into a meeting and you want to look a little bit more put together layers always work um, uh -huh. I'm a military intelligence officer 
and this has been my daily wear for 23 years so i came into the army at 17. i have never ever ever dressed myself for real since i was in high school and that's exaggerating a little bit <laughs> i do know how to dress myself but so. probably not that much yeah not really as a military intelligence officer the jobs that I'm seeking when I get out will most likely be something along the lines of things that have to do with security. So sure. Um, protecting buildings, protecting personnel, things along those lines, managing things like that. So it will be professional. The worst thing to do, I think, when you're transitioning back into civilian workwear is to think, oh my God, there's just too many choices, right? It's like your mind gets blown. And I think it's very important to start simply. And then, you know, as you get more used to things over time, you start to add to your wardrobe. So I think there are some basics that you're going to need. I do think that you're going to need a suit. It could be a skirt suit. And there be, you know, and truly, and there, and that doesn't mean that you even have to wear the suit together. It may be great for an interview, like a nice fitted jacket with a straight pencil skirt could be gorgeous. The suit is the cornerstone when you walk, walk back into the civilian workplace. Like, unless you're, you know, doing what Scott's doing and you know that you're going to be in a warehouse or whatever, and you have to take that into account. I think that particularly for interviewing and particularly for the area that you're in, um, there is something very comforting about seeing somebody come dressed to an interview in a, in a suit, right? Because the, the sector that you're going to be working in, I think that the way that you're pres you present yourself needs to be, um, for lack of a better word, trustworthy. Security is quite a serious uh, sector of the of the environment. You you don't want to come off. I think is too um, not frilly. That's not the word. Frivolous is sort of what I'm you know looking for. Not too many candy colors. Not too many primary colors. I think it's very important to have um, just sort of not a note of being serious because obviously you all have personalities, right? But you want something that says you take. Uh, the job that you're interviewing for seriously, at just the same way that you do when you're in the armed forces. This idea of commanding respect by giving respect, I think is very important in uh, the way that you present yourself for an interview.